Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 5th grade concept of solving data problems. This is standard 5.9c in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 35 off the 2021 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we have a scatter plot here, and it shows the number of minutes that each student in a book club read during a week, and then the number of years. So we've got our number of years down here at the bottom, that's our x-axis, and then we've got our number of minutes read right here, that is our y-axis. And so we are looking for the total number of minutes, so that's just going to ask us for the sum, read by students who have participated in the book club for four or five years. So these are the key numbers we're looking for, four or five years. And what looks like just a coordinate grid here, because that's really how the scatter plot works, you can see it's kind of messy because you have some overlapping numbers, right? So you've got some, some students that have read for uh, five years, but they're going to be 70, 80, and 90. So really what we're wanting to do is pull the data off of this and then turn this into just a basic addition problem. So as we can see, we've got this kid that read for uh, one year, has read for 10 minutes. We've got a 30, we've got a 40, and we just go all the way up. But really, let's take a look at what we're looking at here. We need four years or five years. So we're going to take everything that we can find off four or five, and that's going to be right here. So really, unfortunately, we don't need any of this data. I'm just going to X this out. We don't need any of that right here. We're looking for these five points. And that's all we need to do. Once we know that we've got four or five years, because that matches up with our X axis of number of years in the club, then all we're going to do is we're just going to pull these off find the corresponding values on our y-axis, which is the number of minutes read, and then we will add them up and we will have our answer. So let's start with our four years. So let me just pull this off here. Years, I'm just gonna say minutes. So I've got two kids that have done four years because I see two dots on this right here, this one and this one. The first one looks like read 70 minutes. That's that bottom one, so I'm gonna put a 70 right there. And then the one above looks like read 80 minutes. And it doesn't look like any of them read anything other than a multiple of 10, so we're not having to kind of uh, guess numbers there. Uh, and then it looks like we've got three that were in the five years in the club. And that's coming from this right here, this line right here. And I see one, two, three, and let's pull these three numbers off. Starting at the bottom again, I've got another 70. And then I've got another 80. And then I've got a 90, so that's the most highest number of minutes read is with one of the students that was in the club the longest, five years. So then all I need to do is add these five numbers and take a look at our answer selections. We can get rid of C and D because they just pick up two numbers randomly off of our y-axis, which is not what we need. So we need to add quite a bit here, so let me just do some doubles. I'm just going to pull these out. 70 and 70, 140. 80 and 80, 160. And then let me add my 90. So that's just a little bit of a trick that we could use. So 6 and 4 is going to get us 10. Add that 9 is going to be 19. 1, 2, 3. So there we go. We've got 390 minutes. The answer is B.